This might be the last video you ever see, so watch the whole thing. This is American Fork Canyon, an idyllic location for hiking in the summer and sledding in the winter. Stupid idea. Too bad it's potentially radioactive. Which is why my old friends and I are recreating our award-winning high school science fair project hiking through the canyon in a blizzard to test just how radioactive it is. It would really suck if the canyon was radioactive because it's beautiful. See? Isn't this pretty? I mean, I could do without the telephone pole, but everything else looks... Looks pretty cool. But Tyson, if you've already done this science project, why are you doing it again? Let's just say the first time we did this, it was anything but scientific. Uh, uh. Honestly, the only reason we did win the science fair was because we had a stellar presentation. We made a poster. I tried to find a picture of it, but I could only find this video of me destroying it. <clears throat> anyway, we got a mountain to climb. Hopefully the weather is nice. We are literally in a blizzard. Look at this. We're gonna hike a mountain in this weather. A mountain! I'm worried, but not too worried. You know why? Because I got vitamin C. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that was cold. Let the adventure commence. As we drive there, I'm gonna be listening to the Lord of the Rings audiobook narrated by the Andy Circus. I have not brought you hither to be instructed by you. I have but not brought you hither to be instructed by you. While I eat my orange, let me explain how personal this video is to me. If you grew up in Utah, there are two words that start with M that you can't avoid, and one of them is mountains. Or mountains. Some people here kind of forget the tea. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but I've always had a feeling those mountains were hiding something. Like vampires, or other supernatural oddities. But I never considered that it could be radioactive. Not radioactive in the whole superhero get your powers sort of way, radioactive in the cancer kind of way. That's not a very good thing. At all. Before we begin this grand adventure, we gotta get the band back together. Drum roll, please. Introducing Sam Havili. What's up, guys? We're here to hit those slopes. Check the snow. Look at this. Insane. And Steven Kramer. Hey, what are you doing? What are you sniffing, bro? There are many dangers that face us on this journey, like snow, cougars, and vampires. Honestly, if we don't make it out of this alive, this footage is gonna be famous because it's gonna be like, this is the footage of the guys that went up there and didn't make it back. This might be the last video you ever see, so watch the whole thing. You know, I see where Sam's coming from when he said that, but it kind of sounds more like a threat. This might be the last video you ever see. That sounds scary, but it does have a point. If you don't want it to be the last video you ever see, you could subscribe and then watch more videos and then see me later and then do this, do this again. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, back to what we were doing. We're gonna need some sustenance before we begin this journey because we're gonna be burning a lot of calories. <laughs> When we're up the mountain and we're hiking that mountain, we're gonna think back to this moment and wish we were still here. Uh, don't you guys wish we were back at Costa Vida? My hair is frozen! Once we had enough calories in our system, we went to the mouth of the canyon to collect a soil sample. Um, I think we're getting some good stuff here. This dirt is, has never looked better, and Steven hasn't either. Oh, look at all that dirt. Wait a second, why are we collecting a soil sample? The answer to that question has to do with heavy metals. <laughs> Not that type of heavy metal, this type. Heavy metals are more unstable than other metals, causing them to have some harmful properties. I'll explain this tough concept using a Shrek 3 collector's cup from McDonald's. Interesting. Apparently, the paint used on these cute glass cups contained a heavy metal called cadmium, and continued exposure to cadmium could lead to some unwanted side effects like cognitive disabilities and other such things. That is not very good at all. I do not know why we still have this. These heavy metals, like cadmium, can contaminate soil and water, which is why we're taking soil samples to test. Let's see if the radioactivity affected Steven. Oh! Oh! This soil is definitely radioactive. <laughs> it's gotta move it in some kind of way, bro. Yeah. Sam, what's the time? Uh, 127. Sunset's probably around five. You know, we're gonna need to start now. See that. People are enjoying this place, but it might actually just be radioactive. Like a good sales, bro. I've got a foot in the door. Uh, there's the car. 
We're leaving. Let's go. We're gone. Go. I think that if we had actually remembered how terrible this was for us five years ago, we probably wouldn't be returning. Road ending now. Now it's just snow. The only thing standing between us and the end is about five miles of snow road. We soon realized we were the only ones going up the canyon. Everybody else was coming down, likely because they knew how dangerous nighttime in a canyon can be. Vampires. So we were entirely alone on our way up, separated from humanity. But that didn't seem to bother us too much. <laughs> Bro just wasted half his burrito doing that. Yeah, literally. <laughs> mush, mush. Watch yeah. me run, watch me run. Go, go. Meanwhile, some bear in this canyon just woke up from hibernation. <laughs> Because we're no. very loud. <laughs> Wait, tell me about the girl. You know, we don't have to record this part. It has not ceased to snow, boys. Right here is the trail. It goes all the way over there. But right here is a little... Uh, what's it called? Shortcut. Shortcuts. This m M&M will give me all the strength I need. <laughs> Take the shortcut, they said. It'd be fun, they said. I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah! Halfway there. As a city liver, you know, it just gets so loud all the time. It's just a real privilege to be out here. So here's the map. I can't believe we've hiked this far, bro. Out of curiosity, Steven and Stamp started using the map to calculate exactly how far we'd hiked. Honestly, if it wasn't for them, I would have failed high school chemistry for sure. And we're gonna go from meters to miles. 4.7 miles. Did you actually do that? That math Real. is wild, bro. Dude, that's crazy. Shout out to Mr. Adamson for being the best chemistry teacher. Dude. Uniting friends for life. Forever, actually. forever. <laughs> We're very sorry for Photoshopping your body onto Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was gonna say, that's probably the only thing I took away from that class was that. I believe this is it. If it isn't radioactive, everything we did in high school was for naught. And this entire experiment was a waste. It says radioactivity! Wait, repository. <laughs> hey bro, you wanna play a game I call the Donner Party? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Five years ago, the three of us made this journey and we ate some ramen on that foundation. And on that foundation, we Ooh. shall do the same. I think there's more snow than there was last time we were here. We made it. I'm gonna jump off the top, boys. I dedicate this one to everyone who didn't give up on me. Mainly you two, and Mr. Adamson. <laughs> <laughs> we set up camp and started to make ramen, just like we did all those years ago. And we dug a hole to get that soil sample later. We will dig a hole to China using household spoons. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently sitting atop heavy metal waste from the canyon's old mines. If anything makes this area radioactive, it's probably this place. Some of you might be thinking, can it really be that dangerous? Well, in 2016, about 5,200 fish died in this canyon after being exposed to mud containing heavy metals. So yeah, this is a little more dangerous than the Shrek cups. Why do I make these videos? Uh, I think a part of me wants to preserve my life. I love telling these stories and I love getting other people involved. I want to make videos that I like to make, you know? Yeah. And I want to make videos that help people inspire people. Yeah. I feel like I can contribute, not just like contribute as per I'm putting content on YouTube, but contribute in a way that makes people think, oh man, I feel better about myself after watching that. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's a spiel. Who wants to eat some ramen? <laughs> All right, everyone, we're about to recreate the money shot from our previous expedition the video. Uh, we're gonna do the lion song. Awe moe, awe moe, awe moe. Awe moe, awe moe, awe moe. Awe moe, awe moe, awe moe. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lions live tonight. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>
We really did have a lot of fun up there. Don't worry though, we still know why we're here. We gotta get the sample! Hey dudes, we got it. My hand is like frozen. Ooh. There it is. Sample two, taken from the top. We're gonna test these once we're done here. Um, that's the experiment. I think it's safe to say we can go home now. But the problem is getting home. <laughs> I'm on a flame because you're rekindling me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think it's just delirium that's making everything funny right now. Altitude sickness has gotten to <laughs> After collecting the sample and refilling our hunger bars with ramen and oranges, it was time to go. We haven't made it out yet. We Almost could still be gone. eaten by a cougar or a vampire. Gross. Sun is setting. Snow is falling more ferociously, leaving the camp behind for another five years because in five years we're returning to this wonderful place. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm genuinely worried about getting back. If you lose visual, it's because it's genuinely just getting become pitch black. There are no lights out here. We don't have any headlamps. So making it back is going to be very hard. Anyway, just figured I'd be honest with you guys before the rest of this expedition. To home we go. 20 minutes later. It's starting to get cold. It's cold. So like, like my heart rate's up and I'm warm like I was earlier. But like my arms and stuff are getting cold. I'm feeling yeah. Um, my entire jacket, all the folds, that, frozen. And uh, Sam's backpack, frozen. Probably the water in my pouch, frozen. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it is. My joints, frozen. My phone is dead, so. And we don't have service. <laughs> and we don't have service. No service, just three boys and sure will. As it got darker and our anxieties grew, we decided to get home as fast as possible. This led us to slide down the shortcut we previously took. You may not be able to tell in this video because it is really dark, but I could not stop sliding once I started. Oh man! Guys! Guys! <laughs> I can't stop! <laughs> this looks like a horror game right now. You're so right, dude. This is scary because I heard about stories about vampires up in these woods and I do not want to run into a vampire anytime soon. We got to be very careful and watch where we step. So that's the end of the expedition for today. We collected two samples, one from the bottom, one from the top. And now the next step is to test the radioactivity. But before we do that, I wanted to show you guys something. This. Oh, what? Yo. This has been with us this whole time. This is our science fair medal we won for this experiment. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> insane, bro. I'm glad Holy you saved it. I literally wow. carried this in my pocket the whole time. Tyson, I'm thankful for our time together, bro. You know what? I am too. I'm thankful for you, Steven. Maybe the real radioactivity was the friends we made along the way. Now let's go home and uh, never come up this canyon again. Oh, we're doing it in here? We're just gonna test to see if these things are radioactive on my bed. That's kind of a gamble because I sleep on this thing, so. Oh, batteries included. That's actually nice. Please read the manual carefully, especially the warning and caution instructions. Okay, look at that. That's kind of cool. Is that what they find ghosts with? Luigi could definitely use this. Do you not want to do this outside? Well, I uh, you just I I didn't want to inconvenience you too much. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Other things we should know. Oh, this is all confusing to me. Just a ton of like symbols and stuff. We're gonna start off with number one. We collected this outside the canyon. I think we just. Scoop some onto it. It says zero. Is that, that's probably a good thing if it says zero though, right? Two mu SV over H. That's what this one's reading. I don't know if that's how you actually use it. If I'm using this wrong, let me know. This is the one from the repository. We're gonna test to see if it's any different. Oh, it's, it's going crazy. I guess it's not radioactive. Hooray. It might be user error, but my unofficial conclusion is, is that the canyon isn't radioactive. Seeing as people still go up there all the time, I assume that it isn't radioactive, because if it was, I'm sure they would shut down the canyon. 
Like Caleb and his friends go up there all the time. Caleb makes out with girls every other week up there. Every other month up there. That's more accurate. Sorry guys, I uh... Uh, I should not be an authority for science. If a real scientist out there wants to know if American Fork Canyon is radioactive, by all means, go do it. I'm just not that guy. <laughs> and we've learned that twice, actually, five years ago and this year. I don't even know how to use a Geiger counter. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I think the whole point of this video and even what we did five years ago was just to have a good time as friends. And I genuinely think I did that again. It was a really fun time with Steven and Sam going all the way up there, hiking through the tundra. Super fun stuff. It's kind of stuff that you will remember forever, you know? Maybe next time I'll learn how to use a Geiger counter. I will have this one now that is just gonna sit here. I, I don't really have any other use for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you later.